TitleMatchNetwork.com. We talked about the Ronnie Garvin match, the historic one you had one year. Yeah. And then the next year, I think you were in for almost an hour. In, in Miami, match. yeah. Is it more chaotic because it's 30 people in the ring or, you know? Well, when they, when they just had the regular Battle Royal, they would be everybody, say, 25 guys, 20 to 30, whatever. They would be in the ring already. And then, oh, that was a real clusterfuck. But then they started, to, and I believe Vince is the one that started this. WWF started it. So every two minutes, they would have somebody else come out. So I, I think it started with just one guy out there. He'd be the first guy, and then someone would come out. And then every two minutes, it would be somebody else and somebody else, up to 20 or 25 or 30, however many they had in there. And uh, that's all the road that I like that instead of just before they had 25 man battle royal and they're all there already in there. This is much better feeding them in there like that. People didn't know who was coming in next. That was, that was fabulous. So I had one that you're talking about where I, I broke some kind of record being in there the longest and they told me they wanted me, I had people trying to throw me out. No, oh, I'm supposed to stay in here. Get away from me, you know. <laughs> and uh, but those things are when they started that kind of Royal Rumble where they uh, came out every two minutes, they'd ring the buzzer and somebody else would come out. That was a really good concept, and it made the Royal Rumble uh, so much better, you know. Like you said, you were in the ninety, the, the nineteen ninety Rumble, the ninety one. You were also right. in the ninety two Rumble right, be, right, right before you left. Right. The company, and this was a that was where Brick Flair was in there, and this was the one where uh, you're probably getting to that. The winner of this would be the world champion, right? And so that's where Ric Flair became the world champion first time for WWF. Now I remember. I put the figure four on him in in that match, and uh, and I haven't seen Rick in years because all the years we had together. So that was that was that was great. It was great. Nineteen ninety two, right? Two. Yeah. Yeah. And that was a big spot in the because yeah. usually it's trying to throw everyone over, but this was yeah. you know something between you guys and the... yeah, yeah. That was a good, real good spot. Yeah. And and then Rick ended up winning it and winning the world title. So that was different. I never seen it done that way, but uh, the winner of this match will be the world champion. You know, another one of Vince's ideas. Did you ever have any thoughts of maybe sticking it out a little bit longer and maybe continuing something that you had with Flair or were you already done and saying, I'm, gonna, I'm going to WCW to try this out? I didn't know if I was going to WCW. Um, because they, had, they earlier they had shot me an offer for being one of the four horsemen. I think I told you this mm -hmm. on earlier tapings, and uh, so I kind of missed my window there. I just wanted to leave. I was tired. Later on, I went to WCW a um, couple different times, but uh, there was a big, big independent market out there, and um, so I was. I was tired of doing TV all the time, so I started going to Europe and Japan and all that kind of thing. And then I came back to WCW, and then it's back to the, the old grind. But TV is hard, you know. TV is not pay-per-view TV. That's easy because you can take your time, you know. But the, the uh, Saturday night's WCW thing or NBC Saturday night's made of it. Now, that was a good television beyond because... That was like a house show, and you could go to where as long as you wanted, more or less. You still had to watch your time, but yeah. So when I when I left all the big companies, I just really enjoyed doing independent. Of course, I did television over in Europe and Japan, but it was different. You know, not not that much pressure. They just, you know, you were on, you knew you were on TV, but you didn't have to worry about going home at a certain time or all that. He could just do it and they splice it up, make a show out of it. Title match